His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak Juma, extending his congratulations on the successful opening of the International Schools Games, ISF Gymnasiad Bahrain 2024, hosted by Bahrain from 23rd to 31st of October 2024. The minister expressed the pride in His Majesty the King's patronage of the event, the largest sports and youth gathering held in Bahrain, reflecting His Majesty's directives for Bahrain to lead in various domains. Dr. Juma also highlighted the ongoing support from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in ensuring all preparations for the event. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak Juma, on the occasion of the success of the opening ceremony of the International Schools Games Bahrain 2024, which the Kingdom of Bahrain will host during the period from the 23rd to the 31st of October 2024. The competitions of the International Schools Games Bahrain 2024 kicked off, which are held under the patronage of His Majesty the King. The competitions continues until October 31st, with the historic participation of more than 5,500 students representing 50 school unions from 71 countries. This year's international tournament is expected to witness a strong competition among the students, as this tournament is one of the most prominent and important school sports events on the international scene includes a range of games that require high skills and training. The Kingdom of Bahrain is participating in 17 different games. In more detail, students participating in the International Schools game held in the Kingdom participated in the swimming race competitions for age groups of 2006 to 2009 for males, females and mixed. The competitions witnessed remarkable excellence by male and female students in performing different types of swimming, while students with disabilities participated in the Paralympic swimming race competitions, which are 50-meter breaststroke, butterfly, backstroke, freestyle, 200 meter freestyle and individual medley. Judo and Paralympic judo matches also kicked off amidst great competition from the participants for the top positions. The paddle competitions in which the doubles teams for men, women and mixed teams participated witnessed an outstanding performance from the players. The international school games competitions continue throughout the day and will continue until next Thursday in a number of modern sports venues equipped with the highest international standards.
Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, in the Russian city of Qazan on the sideline of the BRICS summit. The minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to President Abbas. President Abbas expressed his appreciation for Bahrain's support of the Palestinian people and the right to establish an independent Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital. President Abbas relayed his greetings to His Majesty the King, wishing Bahrain and its people continued progress and prosperity. The meeting discussed the latest developments in Palestine, particularly the ongoing conflict in Gaza and the escalating situation in the West Bank. The two sides also reviewed the efforts to secure a ceasefire and the diplomatic initiatives aimed at achieving international recognition for Palestine and for it to obtain full membership of the United Nations. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, took part in the Standard Chartered Investors Forum in the presence of the Minister of Sustainable Development, Ms. Noor bint Ali Al Khalif, and the Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Khalid Hamidan. The event comes within the framework of the annual meetings of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund in Washington, USA, where the Minister of Finance and National Economy reviewed the most prominent development and economic achievements in the Kingdom of Bahrain, noting that the economic indicators of the Kingdom of Bahrain were positive with expectations of continued growth in the coming year. The Minister of Finance and National Economy affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to enhance economic diversification by adopting and implementing many policies and initiatives aimed at stimulating various promising development sectors in a manner that supports the objectives of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Minister also touched on the role of non-oil sectors in supporting the wheel of economic development and the growth of the gross domestic product, stressing the continuation of adopting plans and initiatives that contribute to enhancing economic diversification. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, along with the Minister of Sustainable Development and the Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, reviewed the, two prior, the five priorities that the Economic Recovery Plan focused on, and they also reviewed the most important achievements in the Financial Balance Program. And the Minister of Finance and National Economy affirmed that the Gulf Cooperation Council countries are moving in the right direction towards achieving sustainable economic growth at all levels. Sheikh Salman pointed out the importance of cooperation and joint economic integration and enhancing the ability to confront the various economic challenges facing the region, which contributes to enhancing competitiveness and achieving comprehensive and sustainable economic growth. This came during the Minister's participation in a dialogue session entitled Gulf Economic Integration Achievements and Aspirations, which was organized by the General Secretariat of the Cooperation Council for the Arab States of the Gulf in cooperation with the World Bank. The event highlights the achievements made by the GCC countries in order to address global and regional challenges, enhance the competitiveness of the GCC economies, and the most important foundations for achieving economic integration within the framework of the annual meetings of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund held in Washington. The Minister of Finance and National Economy pointed out the importance of investing in young national caters and creating a stimulating environment to develop their skills and advance them in various fields, including those related to the technology sector. Noting that the Kingdom of Bahrain has devoted its efforts to prepare the technical infrastructure and adopting to modern practices based on creativity and innovation. The minister also explained that the GCC countries continue to enhance their international competitiveness and increase the diversification of the economic base, which contributes to attracting more promising investment opportunities and drive sustainable economic growth in partnership with the private sector towards greater levels. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Yasser bin Ibrahim Hamidan, met in Guangdao with the Director of the National Energy Administration of the People's Republic of China, Zhang Jianhu. This came on the sideline of the Minister's participation in the Third Ministerial Conference of Energy Ministers within the framework of the Belt and Road Initiative, which was held in the Chinese city of Qingdao during the period from the 23rd to the 24th of October. During the meeting, the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs stressed the importance of organizing this conference in the light of the world's shift towards renewable energy and the need to intensify international cooperation to ensure 
energy security and sustainability in addition to expanding research efforts towards the global shift to clean energy fields. During the meeting, the minister referred to the efforts of the government of Bahrain aimed at achieving energy sustainability, reviewing the national strategies and initiatives that seek to reduce carbon emissions by 30% by 2035, reaching to carbon neutrality by 2060. He stressed the importance of enhancing cooperation with the friendly People's Republic of China in various sectors. The competition to select the best design for the Sharif Akano Art Center concluded in the presence of the Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan bin Najib Tawfiqi, the Minister of Works, Engineer Ibrahim bin Hassan Al Hawaj, Chairman of Yusuf bin Ahmed Kano Company, Khalid Muhammad Kano, and a number of invitees and pioneers of the art movement in the kingdom. The winners of the competition, which witnessed fierce competition between the participants, were honored as they presented the designs which included various facilities that are in line with the vision of the center's founders. The event aims to enhance the youth's role in society and also the partnership between the public and private sectors in establishing the Sharifa Kano Art Center to discover, refine, and highlight youth talents in various fields of art. The delegation of the Parliamentary Division of the Kingdom of Bahrain, headed by the second Deputy Speaker of the Council of Representatives, head of the Parliamentary Division delegation, MP Ahmed Abdelwahid Qarata, and the member of the Shura Council, member of the Parliamentary Division delegation, Talal Mohammed Al Manai, met with the Cambodian Parliamentary Delegation represented by Sos Yara on the sideline of the 45 General Assembly of the Parliamentary Assembly and the Association of Southeast Asians ASEAN and the Laos People's Democratic Republic. The two sides discussed the bilateral relations between the two countries and the ways to enhance parliamentary cooperation between Bahrain and Cambodia in various fields, as well as the importance of activating the role of the Parliamentary Friendship Committee between the two countries with the aim of enhancing joint cooperation in the legislative and Par parliamentary diplomatic fields. The Cambodian delegation appreciated the initiative of His Majesty the King call for holding a conference to establish peace in the Middle East, extending an official invitation to the delegation of the Parliamentary Division of the Kingdom of Bahrain to participate in the Conference for Peace and Development, which will be held in Cambodia. The General Secretariat of the Shura Council, in cooperation with His Highness Sheikh Nasser Center for Research and Development in Artificial Intelligence, organized a panel discussion entitled Future Trends and Adoption of Artificial Intelligence Opportunities and Expanding the Role of Parliament in Dealing with Them. The panel discussion was a translation of the contents of the royal speech of His Majesty the King, which included raising the levels of efforts made in employing modern technologies such as artificial intelligence and intensifying its programs in vital sectors according to the systems and standards necessary to advance its sciences and develop its outcomes. The discussion panel highlighted a number of topics including the importance of modern artificial intelligence technology in developing the legislative process and formulating policies, the role of the legislative authority in formulating sustainable policies for the modern technology government, in addition to international legislation in the field of artificial intelligence.